So once again, Valheim Vikings, we are here today to look at our village and to see a few upgrades. We've, we've just really gotten started, but I wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the village in our survival game. And uh, this is an end game plan, even though we're not uh, all that far along yet in the game. We're, we still haven't gone to the plains or the mountains. So, um, but we're, we're kind of building around on our village, just getting an idea. We've stuck a portal over here in the uh, altar area. So, you know, we, we're going to make a bar out of this. Uh, you can see that video. I've got some concept ideas that I've put for all these different buildings. And we're going to build a bar in here, tavern, whatever. And then we've got our roads laid out now. Uh, just rough laid in, but some ideas about our roads. And we've got some stakes in the ground. We've, we've cleared the trees in this area. Uh, we have gone ahead and built our pig farm because we need our pigs. And we are putting up these ideas of street food, maybe something else better, I don't know. Um, but we've got a few things in here. The armory, expecting to kind of put that here close. Not sure why we need to put that close to the tavern, other than... We could build a pretty good size armory here and put some defenses perhaps uh, on top of the building to protect against attacks and so on and so forth that certainly do happen and they get worse as we play along. That's one of the reasons we're putting this in this way. We got the idea of maybe putting a barber shop right here, kind of close to the tavern. Go get a nice haircut before you uh, go have your drink for the night. Uh, it's kind of out of the way. I'm not overly thrilled with the location, but it's close for the palace, and I like that. that you know, the, that that could happen. Um, then across the way over here, we've got uh, the idea of putting a jail on this side. There'd be no views of of really anything except the pig farm, or uh, they could see the palace. But depending on if we put a window in the jail cell then they, they just only see the pig farm. So that's one idea that we've got there. Uh, oh, looks like I'm going to have to eat some food here real quick. We haven't done anything with the palace area just yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, what else have we got here on the corner? Our smithy, our workshop, to put in all of our forge and uh, workbench and stuff like that. Of course, we have to put workbenches all around to be able to do any kind of stuff, but... Uh, we're hoping to hide those as best we can and or even remove them after we've built our buildings. But this will be a, a continuous smithy workshop type of thing to where we would be able to go in and, and have a real working workshop. We've got um, here we've got a bakery and an ice cream shop. Probably the two, you know, one on each side. I put one sign, but we just kind of see, you have to feel out how that's going to work. Um, we've got the uh, Taylor Swifts or the Swift Taylors. We're not sure how we're going to do that, but it's just too good a name uh, for the for the uh, place where you can get your uh, armor and get it adjusted to fit you and all that. Thought about having an odds and ends shop in here, uh, just kind of anything and everything that doesn't fit everywhere else. So this would be kind of a good place to have that as people were coming in from the dock you know, they could pick up their odds and ends or they've done all their trading in the village and now they're leaving and they had a couple of things and they sell those before they go out. I don't know. Kind of an idea. Um, the uh, got a big, big restaurant and, and a couple of fancy shop ideas. So thinking about putting that over here on the water. And I don't know how well that's going to mix that it's, you know, a an elegant restaurant, or I'm calling it a steakhouse right now, to remember that it's an idea that it's to be something more upper scale than the street food that we've got up around in there, wherever that is. And then we've got the, the fishmonger right here. Probably need some other kind of a, you know, basic nothing little thing here. I'm not sure uh, what, but I, I'd like to have that here. But then I'm afraid about the big restaurant, the fancy restaurant. So we've, we've still got some ideas to bat around and, 
work to do, but this is our ideas for the moment. Um, then we've got a, a stake up here. This is where the uh, farm would finish. We've got the, the farm kind of coming here, terracing down. And then uh, we put windmills out here for a nice look. And then the, the shops could be, there could be one or two shops over on the, again, on the water. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. Uh, real quick, finishing up this, uh, I think we talked about the street food, uh, taking up kind of this corner. And then uh, there'll be a little bit of a garden around the palace. So I kind of want to get the palace started, maybe even finished. I don't know, but uh, because we want to make it look really nice and we may need to move this road out, which would be fine. We've got plenty of room. Uh, we've got a butcher shop and uh, want to make sure that we do finish the farm first and then we know exactly how much space we have. The butcher shop, I kind of want to be close to the palace. So, you know, somebody's cooking in the palace, they can get their, their uh, meat and they can get their uh, vegetables and things like that. I kind of like that idea, but I also don't want to have, don't want to be smelly. So, um, like here, we've got an idea of putting the barber shop right here because it's the road back out of town into all of the suburbs. And there'll be a lot of construction back in there. There'll be houses all over the place. We have our, uh, have a nice little road that's just big enough to pull a cart through. And that's where we started our farm. Also, the farm has been started on exactly the scale of the, uh, the world layout. It's square to the world. I'm going to have to do another video on that, but uh, my, my, my partner, my buddy, the, the guy that works with me on the server, he said that's really important, especially when you're doing farms. And so I believe him. And if you look, you can see how nice looking this wall is. It's just, whoops, let me turn around. Turn around. It's just straight and nice. It's not all those jaggedy edges all the time. And this is because he took the time to find where the world square is. And so his, his uh, wall looks really nice. And then this was built down. He dug a really, really deep hole and found the square and then built up around it. And that's what he built his framing off of. So we'll have to do another video on that because he covered it up before I got in here to do the video. But um, anyway, that's, that's what that is. He's going to rework the farmhouse here and make that a, a farmer's house. Then this will be the farmer's market. We're not sure how that's going to work. I had had the farmer's market as a secondary building, but he possibly will build it a nice little farmhouse here with a, a fruit stand kind of thing at the internal of it. So that's a potential instead of having a separate farmer's market in this case, because we happen to be just so close and we're, we're running out of space a little bit right here to the water um, and because of the lay of the land and stuff. So he's going to work on that, figure it out. Uh, we started gathering some stone and some wood and one of the, our new people that's going to come from the, uh, into the server, he's, he's promised today, we're going to see, he's a new guy, not been playing Valheim very long and um, just a, a week or two and he barely played it at all. and. Uh, he's going to come in and clear all these trees and stack all of it up for us. So we, um, yeah, I gotta, gotta do a little bit of work while I'm in here. <laughs> We've got a lot of stuff to get done and, um, I'm working out at night. So there's going to be these guys. And he'll be back if I don't get him now. Oh, I'm out of food. I better not get too rambunctious with him. And so, um, I guess he's not going to come back. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here so these guys will leave me alone. I want to just give you an update on the, the things. Uh, I guess I can give you a quick tour. Uh, there's not much to it. It's the same kind of a pig farm that most everyone is using with the, the pigs upstairs. I find it very hard to get them fed and keep them fed. 
Um, I've built this in, in the, my private game and also um, in the server here. And I'm finding that at least for our purposes here in the server, we're having better luck getting piggies by just having a, a, a big area here. And I heard a new one, there it is right there. Looks like the one just born. And uh, we're having better luck just leaving food out here and letting them, the pigs just kind of come together and uh, you see, we're, we've got quite a few now, and it's a big area. I'm, I'm not thrilled with it because it's not very predictable, but it's just working so much better than the, than the ramp and all that work that we did to do that because the, it, it's just hard to feed them. So, no, I don't have anything to give them. I better go get some food and get back here so they can continue their journey of uh, reproduction that they do so well. Um, pick all this stuff up. So I'll, I'll do that and uh, we'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe and uh, ring that bell and all that kind of good stuff so we can make sure that you get the, the next video. I, I think it's raspberry side up here. But uh, this is our survival game. This is the end game that we're talking about here and building the village. We've got several places already built and you know we're, we're out working at the swamp right now trying to get things um, from there. We haven't quite finished the swamp yet, but we're, we're slowly but surely building over here and moving things to where we, we want them in, in this area. So I'm just going to get out of here. These guys are going to continue to bother me until I leave. So I'll have to come back and be, feed the pigs in the morning. Or go get some sleep and uh, that'll be fine. I don't like having these guys messing with me. I can keep coming over here to these, uh, these defenses. These are great. They're so much fun. Uh, if that guy's followed me, oh, he didn't really follow me. But these pumpkins, they, you know, burn the guys. And I'm not a big fan of the pumpkins, but I am a fan of the, what they do because they work so well. All right, we're going to see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching, and again, do subscribe. Um, I'll see you soon on the next video.